What's up, YouTube? What's up, Sauce Gang? It's your boy, Sauce Boss, back in the building again. And you guessed it, with another dope project. And hey, this is for all my, what's it call it? Vlogmas? Yeah, Vlogmas. I guess I'm gonna try to do the Vlogmas. I don't know how successful I'm gonna be, but I'm gonna give it a try. So, check this out. So I came up with a super duper crazy uh, idea of making a sweatshirt, but not just any sweatshirt. Let's make this a drop shoulder sweatshirt. Along with that, uh-huh, it's gonna be a leather sweatshirt. What? A leather sweatshirt, you say? Hmm, wonder how this gonna come out. Huh, I wonder too how this gonna come out because I ain't never done it, but we gonna do it and you gonna watch me do it. And then when I do it, you gonna be able to do it too if you like it. Hey, psh, that's what I'm saying. And if you really like it, Give your boy a thumbs up, give your boy a like, drop your boy a comment. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about everything that I'm doing on this channel here, man. For real. I'm going bananas. For real. You see me go bananas all of 2021, right? Let's end it off right so I can just take it up another notch at 2022 all your love and your support is greatly greatly appreciated i'm telling you from the bottom of my heart man from my heart for real for real stay tuned for real i love it when you tune in for real i'm just saying love this um man i got a lot more dope stuff coming i gotta get to the embroidery machine show you how that work i'm just gonna be doing a lot of stuff because man I love YouTube, I love my sauce gang, I love my members, I love my subs, I love everybody that rock with your boy sauce. For real. Straight up and down, sideways, left and right, diagonally, uh, perpendicular to the square, all of that. For real. So, <laughs> let's get over to the table of greatness, and make some greatness happen, so you can see how I cut this up, dice it, and put it back together, and uh, throw that salt on it like that. Uh, the salt. Yeah. And on the finished product. So let's go. Okay, so now you've seen me cut out the pattern. Now we are at the design stage right now. So this is where you get most creative. Okay. So as you can see, I already took the ruler and measured out the pattern. Now what I did, so because I want this to be cut on the both sides, the front and the back the same way, I just sandwiched them together both front side pieces facing each other. So I'm actually drawing on the wrong side of the piece that goes toward the body. And you're not gonna be able to see none of this because all this to be wiped away. Plus it's gonna have a lining. You don't wanna add the lining just yet, cut it out because once you start making your cuts and you start sewing it back together, it will have a different size. So that's what you want. You always wanna go a little longer and a little bigger because if you're actually gonna be doing some cutting on your, on your fabric like this, it's gonna make it a little bit smaller. So if you're a size 3X, say take it up to a 4X, by the time you get done with your cutting, it'll be about the 3X size. And the same thing if you're a 2X, um, get a 3X and it's, it'll size down, you know, as you're doing the cutting, um, everything. So right here, as you can see, I got the design stages uh, and I already did all my, all my marks on here. Each box is eight inches apart, eight inches, eight inches eight inches eight inches so you have to cut this in many different ways but before i cut this i'm going to have to measure because i'm going to be adding my piping so i want to add my piping and in, in, insert it in here and i want to make sure i have enough before i start just going crazy so we are adding piping this way so you always want to give a little seam allowance and the piping do have stretch as well. So it has a little give. So we want to give a little bit like that. Boom, that'll be the long way. That'll be perfect on my design that I want to do for front and back. So this will still work out pretty well for your boy. So I'm cool with that. I got a different design in my head and watch me design and work with that. I just wanted to make sure I got enough piping to actually do that because um, I got something going on for the shoulders and the arms. So right now, since I did that already, I did all that. It's time to just get my cuts and make it happen. So, woo, let's go.
said our love was worth dying for That's why she keep on, keep on trying But I'm really not moved by your tears no more You said your love was real, you said your love is strong You're trying to hold me tight and never let me go You're moving way too fast, we need to take it slow Guess that's what happens when you hanging in for way too long Girl, I keep somebody else beside me yeah i understand that you like me for the thought though rejection is a hard pill to swallow if it's love then let it be because if you force it you're gonna end up with your heart bro not that all the cuts is already made before you start moving stuff around you want to mark each piece to front front and back whatever like that so you let you do, like right now, it says it got F's on it. So all these are F pieces for the front. And you just want to mark them, you know? That's for the front. You just want to mark them so you don't get confused. Now that everything is already cut out and you see what is the front piece and everything like that, you actually want to, um, I would actually mark them so you actually know what's, what goes with what. Like this would be one, one, this would be two, two. Let's get that two a little bit better. This would be three, Three, this will be four, four. So at least you know what pieces go with what, how they go together and everything like that. So as you can see, I made the ones, the twos, the threes, the four, because you're gonna be replacing some of these pieces now. And you need to know what pieces to replace when you're doing this. So uh, right now, since we did that, let's get the other fabric up here real quick and we just gonna start replacing fabric and stuff and uh we're gonna keep this rocking and rolling so just give me a minute i'll be right back and to this point you didn't already chop this boy up you know what i'm saying you didn't get sued it you didn't whoop tamed it all the way up and it's cut up in so many different pieces it's looking like sushi right now okay so we're gonna need to actually put this all back together and how we gonna do that is we're gonna have to it's already cut. We got to sew everything back together, but we want to sew it in a whole different fashion. Okay? So you see how it's already laid out. And everything is already num numbered and laid out front and back. So you already know where, what go when you're putting it back together. Because that's the most important part. Because if you don't do that, then you're going to be lost in the sauce. And you didn't already lost. Okay? So uh, we're going to take this. We're taking certain pieces. And we're going to cut new pieces. And reattack and reapply them because it's gonna have, you know what I'm saying, a tic tac kind of board thing going on. And it's gonna be super hella dope. So what I wanna do is I wanna take my take my front end of my back piece. I wanna take that up like that. I want I want that side. As you can see me, okay, okay. Then I want this one. I wanna take this side up, right? Just like that. Move that, move that to the side. Then I wanna take this side and take it up. And then I want to take, I got that side. So, you know, I got to take this side. And these are the sides that I'm going to be using to cut up and make new pieces, right? So, all we're going to have to do with this is move these to the side because these are not being touched right now. So, we're going to move them to the side. And these pieces that we got that I just showed you, we're going to cut new pieces. Let me just get the new fabric and put it on the thing. And I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay. So now I got the fabric all laid out. And how we want to do this is just like this. Let me see. We got Let me see it, I'm a bit on the mission. 
Passion, best believe it. Ask for it, you receive it. Dollars coming, let me see it. Much I may and I'm a be on a mission. Best believe it. Ask for it, you receive it. Ask for it, you receive it. Got a lot, put the key in. Got them looking, yeah, they praying. She like, I like what I'm seeing. Now we up, they agreeing. Play full, yeah, we eating. Now you can't ignore this feeling when you got it from and seeing. Why these niggas be out there? If I love, why you cheering? She know that I'm never leaving. They won't be. But they vegan I don't know why they on that Get a pack, then I roll that She got ass, tell her throw that Start her on, it's a throwback Just a straight roll, I don't even pay toes The boy a genius and I ain't talking yay though Been a living legend since I was like a day Oh, I remember days though Listening to J. Cole I remember days though Listening to Drake though Had to up my profile, had to up my payroll Getting too high, yeah you know I had to lay low Getting too fried so now that i got everything cut out uh, all i need to do is start piecing it together but before i do that let me mark the back and the numbers that's what i've been doing for every piece that i've been doing so far so now all i have to do is put it together but before i do that i got some um uh, special stuff that i'm actually doing i'm gonna have to embroider some of these pieces so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to head over to the sewing machine, then I'm gonna have to take care of this, and then, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna show you the process of how I'm embroidering, and then after that, we're gonna keep on putting this stuff together. So, rock with your boy, all right. Just at the part right now where I'm just finna add the embroidery to uh, some of the pieces on a uh, sweatshirt, so I'm gonna show you how I embroider it and everything like that, but I'm gonna make a whole video and show you how I walk through step by step how I embroider my garments and everything like that, but hey, Let's get to this right now. Let's get this shirt done. Let's go. Where the show is beautiful women who time in the mirror to show up the shows and see me perform this. Used to ignore me, I'm all that they hear, but I used to be timid. I don't know what fear is. Just talked to my dog and he told me he got me. I hopped up the line and went straight to go get it. I got us building this up out of mortar and brick. The way that it's going, I don't see it ending. The pigment is tinted. I'm really that nigga, go figure. <laughs> I'm tapped in, do a higher power, feeling bigger than me. It's centering me. My enemy's silent, they see that I'm fine. Can't fuck with my energy. I got some real ones on my sideline, up by them by them guidelines, I'm way up near the skyline, you so, so barely fine, right? Only kings around me, all this gold, now why I shine bright, yeah, you hella fine, right? Hey, you looking like the wine and dine type, I'm asking in that limelight, bro, do you get your chips stack, I'll teach you, I'm the wise guy, I'm getting right, bad that shit, I'm sending out with vibe wise, you know we good on this side. On a mission, best believe it. Ask for it, you receive it. Dollars coming, let me see it. Ask for it, you receive it. So right now that we got everything embroidered, front and back, this is what we're looking like. So as you can see it, we got all the panel pieces, everything is separated. Now we have to start attaching pieces together. So how we gonna do that is, we're gonna attach this piece to this one, this one 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 to this one, and this one to this one. And then, when we all said and done, um, we'll figure out if we wanna put um, the piping directly down the middle, how it looking, and then I decide then. If not, then we're just gonna attach this side to that side. And um, that's how we're gonna be rocking the road. So, um, if you already know that, and then I just uh, attach everything else. So, we still figuring out the design process on the sleeves. And I'll, once we get everything attached front and back, then I will proceed to cut out the lining for the sweatshirt. Um, and then we'll just keep rocking and rolling like that. So let's get all this attached and make this happen. Let's go. So I'm finna hit it over to the sewing machine. Uh, go ahead and knock this out. Then I'll be back to show you the finished product and everything like that. All right, then. Hoping that you liking everything. If you like it, please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Let's go, sauce gang. Okay, so now we got everything sewn together, front and back. I'm just showing you this one piece right now. So as you can see, it's all sewn together, front and back. This is how it should look from the front side and the back side. So 
as you can see it's all sewn right here now what i need to do is go over to the sewing machine and i actually need to actually put um i need to top stitch it and what i'm going to do is just put a straight stitch a double straight stitch along here and along there but you got to open it up in the back right here to do so so i'm gonna um go over to the sewing machine do that and i'm gonna just show you a little picture of what needle that i do use when i do do that and that this is the needle that i do use it is a double needle and you insert it inside your sewing machine and I can show you how that works. And uh, man, to achieve the double stitch that I'm gonna get. So um, man, just follow me over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna show you, all right. So like I said, I was telling you about this special little nifty tool right here to give you a double stitch in one shot. Right here, as you can see it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just install it. And how you install it is, basically just, you keep on the same, you keep on the same petrol presser foot you know, that you've been using. So you don't have to do use, uh, take that off. But you want to cut your machine off when you take your needles out because you don't know if this thing might malfunction, you might hit the paddle. You just want to take it out nice and easy like that. You know, I'm changing my threads. So I'm gonna take my thread out and I'm gonna change it to a different thread for the top station and you change your bobbin. So this is the bobbin that I'll be using for my machine. So I'm just gonna take that. And then the remainder of the thread I'm gonna be using is right here, put that up there like that. But when you're doing that, since it's a double stitch, you're gonna need your regular thread and then you're gonna need that thread again um, in a spool or what I do is just wrap something in a bobbin and I'll put it right here. So with your sewing machine, you should have an extra attachment that you can actually put up here like that. And that's all I'm gonna use, like that. And I'm gonna put that right there. Uh, with this, just install it, like so. You know, just hold it up there, tighten it down, boom. Now we install and I'm ready to um, put back on the sewing machine. So now that we're done with that, with the top station, this is how your top station should look. Nice, super clean, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? That came out so beautiful. This is gonna look so freaking amazing. Oh my goodness. So that's how your top station should look and everything like that. So now what we need to do is actually, uh, since that everything is top stitch, now we need to um, make the lining. We need to make the lining for the jacket and then put it all together as well. So that's our next step. We're gonna go with the lining and then keep moving forward. So hopefully that's you liking this. If you do, smash that like button, give your boy a thumbs up and A, hey, stay tuned so you can see the whole finished project. All right, let's get to the next step. Okay, so now let me move that up a little bit for you. I am about to make this cut. Make sure everything lined up good. Because you only get one shot at this. That's cut. Okay. So now there you go. 
you didn't make the cut. Now it's in two separate pieces. Now what you want to do is I'm going to add a whole nother separate piece to this. So I'm going to show you how I do that in one second. Hold on. So now it's all cut and both pieces of the new pieces ready to be sewn together. I'm going to add the piping. I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. Um, and then, uh, man, bring it back to you and just show you how it look. All right. Okay. So now we got all the sleeves installed. The piping, this is how it looks. This is the front side. This is the back side of the left side. And this is the front side and the back side of the right side. Super dope stitching look amazing in here. Just to show that. Super, super duper crazy. I'm loving the way this is coming together. It's crazy. But check this out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the piping right along the sleeve area, the front and the back to both sides because it's a drop sleeve. So, you know what I'm saying? So you can see that piping coming through. Look very, very luxurious. That's what we're going for. So all we're going to do is measure the piping from the top and just move it all around all the way to the bottom and then we're going to clip it <clears throat> at, at the end when we actually get it but what we're going to actually do before the end we want to actually just make little slits on this side because this fabric has no give so we want to give it a little bit of stretch so it can make sure it um it, 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 it molds very good to the body of the body so what we're going to do is actually cut slits on this side so it's going to give it a little bit of stretch because this fabric has no stretch so by adding little slits in it it give you a little bit of stretch so it can mold to the body a lot better just in case if you just need that little extra stretch and that's what it's going to actually do so before we do that let's just get a couple cuts in there and then we'll add the um we'll add the piping to it and then we should be good to go on that. And then we get it everything sewn in and we can keep on moving. So now that I cut it, I got some slits in there. Let's get one more right here. You know, it's up to you how many you want. Um, I know how many I should have. So just give it a little bit of stretch when the fabric actually stretches around it if you need so. Um, but right now let's get the Let's get the piping in, get it measured. I'm gonna get it sewn in on the front side and the back side of both sleeves. Then I'm gonna show you how I look and then we're gonna actually get it installed on the body of the sweatshirt. So we're rocking and rolling. And then after that, I'm just gonna have to sew the lining all together because the lining is not sewn together yet. And then man, we, we, we coming to the end, you know what I'm saying? Just a few more things to do and we'll be all good. But if you're liking this content, please like, share, subscribe, drop your boy a comment, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. All right, let's go, Sauce Gang. So we got everything sewn together. Uh, we got the lining already done and it's sitting off to the side and we're gonna have to attach the lining, but I'm just showing you right now how you attach the sleeves to the front side of the body and then you actually have to attach the other part of the sleeves to the back side of, uh, of the body when you're actually doing this type of um this type of design so to, with the drop with the drop sleeve <clears throat> so like i said you just want to take that front side and it's like i told you before earlier in the video it's very important make sure you have everything numbered out just right so you want to make sure that you use your special zipper foot for when you actually install in the piping so it can go between the piping um, and it give it a whole cleaner look and you know, you do it right, you know, and it make it look tight. So this is what we, this is what we at with it right now. As you can see, I already had stitched the left side and the right side sleeves together to, you know what I'm saying, to the front side. Now I'm just gonna show you how you actually just do the back side. So you'll take the back side and basically just the front sides of the curve from the top all the way down you are measure and place and you will uh, pin and then straight stitch all the way around 
and you can do that once or twice once you do it already um and then you'll do that to the other side as well and that'll lock it in and then once you get done you'll want to actually um once you get done <laughs> you will want to just attach the rest of the body and make everything look super super nice so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pin everything for you and then i'm going to sew everything and let you see how it looks so let me just get to pinning and then i will show you how it looks so i hope you're able to see this really well so i got it pinned just right up in here so this is the shoulder part you actually just want to do this first because you can't pin it all the way around because some pins are going to uh, cross each other and you don't want to do that and it's going to be really difficult to know where to pin and where not to pin. So I would suggest, in my opinion, this is the way I do it, just do the shoulder part first and then pin the other parts after you pin and you sew this first. So pin and sew then move on to the other part. So that's what I did for the first time, just pinning and then I'm gonna sew it. And then I will move on to connect the two arm pieces together and the rest of the body. So it can all be sewn together because the way that these are drop sleeves are actually made is really made kind of difficult and you will get lost. Um, to me, I feel like you will get lost if you're just trying to pin everything together and then sew everything together. So just do one step at a time, this first, as you can see, just pin it, then sew it, and then we are gonna move on to connecting, like I said, the um, this two sleeve, the sleeves together, and then sew the rest of the body. So I'm gonna get over to the sewing machine, knock this out, and then I'm gonna show you what it look like. Okay, as you can see, the top shoulder piece is sewn in. What we're going to actually want to do right here is I'm going to show you about um, attaching the sleeves and the rest of the body. So you want to locate where the sleeves uh, are at and where the two ends meet right here. As you can see, they meet right here. And all you want to do is actually you want to bring them to each other like so. You want to bring them to each other like this because that's how you're going. That's your guiding point. You always want to have a guiding point. So that'll be your guiding point. And you could just do is pin that first. Now, once you pin that, everything else is really simple and easy as far as pinning and sewing the rest of the garment and everything. Because at least you know where the body begins and the sleeve ends. And that's how you can sew. So now, as you see, with that guiding point, you can tell that's a sleeve, and all you got to do is pin, pin, and sew. And then, as the saying over here, you know, this is the body area, so all you have to do is pin, pin, and sew. And that's simple. So the major thing you always wanna do is find the two meeting pieces of the shoulder and where the sleeves meet, put them together, and then that's how you'll sew it all in one piece. So it could be a straight, seam all the way around and your sleeve will fit perfectly every single time if you do it this way every single time so i'm gonna sew it i'm gonna go ahead over to the sewing machine i'm gonna go ahead finish pinning sewing and then um then i'm gonna show you what it look like all right be done with the project it's about that time for the reveal i just want to let you know right now i know you hear it all the time that i think everything is amazing and it comes out so wonderful right but this time it's totally totally different like i stepped out my comfort zone i did something i challenged myself and i love to do that and man hopefully it came through in the project when you see it because this ain't nothing but top prestige here, man. I'm talking about you take it back to 1985 Harlem Dapper Dan when they was out there on the avenue and all the money was flowing. All the money was flowing. This that flavor right here, man. This that flavor, okay? Cause man, it's, it's, it's just stupid dope to me. And hopefully it came across and my love that I put into it shows. And you can see it too. And hopefully you like it 
as well. And if you do like it, make sure you drop your boy a comment. Give me 17 likes. Go to your mama's page and give me a like. Go to your daddy's page and give me a like. And go to your little kid's page and give your boy a like. If you love how I killed it on this one here, ma'am. But no further ado, let me give you a little B-roll. Let's go. what I'm talking about. Man, what did you think about that? Drop your boy a comment right now let me know if I did that or if that was a no or if I stole the show. Let your boy know by dropping me a comment below. That boy got bars. That boy got bars. I'm just saying. Man, did you see all the intangibles and the details that I put into it? Like, all the cuts that I had to make to make that happen, man, that was for a client of mine. Hopefully that he likes it. And if you want anything done, please hit me up on my Instagram, either Exquisite Apparel underscore 2018 or The Chronicles of Sauce Boss. You can get at your boy. DM me if you need some some of this heat done for you. You know what I'm saying? Well, you're going to turn heads and be like, man, look like a million dollars right there. Huh. 10 million, matter of fact, just letting you know, okay? So people gonna be on you, and if they not, they hating. They got some dirty, dirty haters. They don't, they don't need to be around your greatness because they hating, okay? That's sauce right there. At it's finest. You hear me? Finest. 
I'm just letting you know. That's how I feel about it. Hopefully you feel the same about it. You know what I'm saying? But man, I just love y'all so much. I'm trying to drop more vlogs for Vlogmas for the Christmas time, but it's just so crazy. I'm so busy right now and I'm trying to get to it and smack everything and do everything for y'all. Show y'all everything that I'm bringing out and all the designs that I'm coming up with and everything like that. So man, bear with me. I might have to, if y'all want to see more of just the daily vlogs or lifestyle and different stuff like that, behind the scenes or what I'm coming up with, drop your boy a comment, give your boy a like and say sauce. We need more vlogs. So, you know what I'm saying? If y'all could do that, your boy appreciate it. And I try to get them vlogs for y'all. If y'all really want to see me more on YouTube on a daily basis or, you know what I'm saying, if I'm dropping three or four videos a week or whatever I can, uh, I do that for you. And I make that happen when I'm going to buy fabric or I'm sourcing materials or, you know what I'm saying, looking at thread or, you know what I'm saying, just my daily activities of what I come up with in the brain of an evil genius, you know what I'm saying, on a daily in and day out basis so you know what i mean i appreciate that but you know what i'm saying like i say always about this time never stop striving never stop dreaming never stop designing it's your boy sauce boss until the next time you know your boy is out i'm out i'm out Rah!